Hi guys sports here news briefs. Soccer. Ronaldo expected to be fined 1 million for his interview. Manchester United are not very happy after Cristiano Ronaldo's words in an interview with Piers Morgan. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner was highly critical of the club and that is why the Red Devils are prepared to fine him up to £1 million. Cristiano Ronaldo's situation at Manchester United has been deteriorating since this summer. After the Portuguese wanted to leave the club after failing to qualify for the Champions League this season, Ten Hag's arrival on the United bench saw Ronaldo relegated to the bench. Moreover, after Cristiano left the pitch and went to the dressing room before the final whistle in a preseason match against Rayo Vallecano and in the Premier League against Tottenham, the atmosphere became even more tense. After weeks of rumours about the Portuguese's possible departure from the Red Devils after the World Cup, the seven bombshell came in an interview with Piers Morgan. I don't have respect for him because he doesn't show respect for me, Ronaldo said. Not only the coach, but another two or three guys around the club. I felt betrayed. After these words came to light, although the full interview has not yet been published, Manchester United have decided to take matters into their own hands. The Red Devils board is prepared to find the former Real Madrid player at least a million pounds, which corresponds to what he earns in two weeks. Lionel Messi breaks down how Pep Guardiola did a lot of harm to football in fascinating, rare sit-down interview. Lionel Messi has broken down how Pep Guardiola did a lot of harm to football during his time at Barcelona, it's a fascinating take. The duo worked together at Barcelona between 2008 and 2012, winning three La Liga titles and two Champions Leagues. Guardiola had a massive influence on Messi's career and modern football in general. His emphasis on possession and overload saw several managers emulate his methods. Few were as successful as Guardiola, who has won league titles with Bayern Munich and Manchester City since. Messi believes what Barcelona were able to achieve in those four years made the Spaniards' methods look simple. As a result, Everyone tried to have centre-backs who played out from the back or full-backs who come into midfield. During a rare sit-down interview with Movie Star Plus, the Paris Saint-Germain superstar claimed, Guardiola did a lot of harm to football. It seemed so simple and easy that everyone wanted to copy his style. Interviewer Jorge Valdano replied, Exactly, in every Division 2, even in the 3rd Division central defenders were running forward. Messi then responded, yeah, later I found a lot of Guardiola's around. That's when you realize what we accomplished. When asked if Guardiola was the best coach he's ever had, seven-time Ballon d'Or winner Messi admitted, no doubt about it, Guardiola is special, distinctively the way he sees every match, the preparation for it and how he communicates the strategy to us. Messi's full interview with Movie Star is set to drop on Monday in the build-up to the World Cup kicking off on November 20. The 35-year-old will captain Lionel Scaloni's Argentina side in Qatar with La Albi Celeste on a sensational 35-match unbeaten run. Argentina are in Group C at the World Cup alongside Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland. Dortmund's ultimatum for Bellingham, either stay or go. Jude Bellingham will have the World Cup in Qatar to decide what he wants to do next season. The England midfielder is being targeted by Real Madrid, Liverpool and both Manchester clubs. Borussia Dortmund will not stop him and if he wants to leave, they will agree with his decision. Jude Bellingham is the main contender to leave the German club for the 2023-24 season. The English midfielder, who was named for the England squad for the World Cup in Qatar, has to decide whether he wants to stay or leave Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund CEO Hans Joachim Watzke spoke to Build TV about the situation they will have to deal with once Bellingham returns to Dortmund. We will have a general discussion about what he actually wants. With him, with his parents, with whom we have a very close relationship. And of course, with his advisor. Madrid and Man City complicate Molyro's arrival at Barca.
Las Palmas striker Alberto Moliro has talked to Barcelona in order to reach an agreement. However, their economic situation has complicated the signing and several clubs, such as Real Madrid and Manchester City are keeping an eye on the young player. According to Mundo Deportivo, Manchester City and Real Madrid are interested in him. The same media outlet reports that Liverpool and Borussia Dortmund are also keeping an eye on him. For that reason, the young player may receive better offers from different clubs. Moliro has a contract with Las Palmas until mid-2026 and it has a €30 million Euros buyout clause, which will rise to €60 million Euros if Las Palmas promote to La Liga. Barcelona came close to signing the player a few months ago but their financial situation prevented them from concluding the deal. Alejandro Garnico's late strike sees Manchester United defeat Fulham. Argentina teenager Alejandro Garnico came off the bench to score in stoppage time as Manchester United won 2-1 away to Fulham on Sunday. It seemed the Cottagers had done enough to earn a point in the final Premier League match before the World Cup break. But Garnico's expert 1-2 with Christian Eriksen, in the last of three minutes of added on time, finished with the 18-year-old racing into the box before producing a cool finish across Burned Leno. He has a lot of talent and his work rate together with the talent makes a big difference with us from the bench, United captain Bruno Fernandes told the BBC when asked about Garnico. Cricket ICC reveals team of the tournament for men's T20 World Cup 2022. Fitness concerns saw Shaheen Shah Afridi ease himself into the tournament, and a setback in the final forced him to be unable to bowl his final two overs of the competition in unfortunate circumstances. But the Pakistan strike bowler stepped up when his team needed him to as the tournament got to its crunch point. His removal of Finn Allen set the tone in a brilliant opening spell against New Zealand in the semi-final, and a trademark inswinger did for Alex Hales in the first over of the final. There is no bowler in the world right now that you'd rather have taking that new ball in AT20 International. Twelfth man, Hardik Pandya, India India's all-round superstar Hardik Pandya had a superb tournament. He took eight wickets in six matches and finished as his team's third highest scorer despite coming in down the order. Were it not for his scintillating 33 ball 63, India would have never even threatened to reach a competitive total in the semi final against England. Tennis Rafael Nadal suffers straight sets defeat by Taylor Fritz in his opening match of the ATP finals. Rafael Nadal's chances of finishing the year ranked world number one suffered a major blow with a straight sets loss to debutante Taylor Fritz in his opening match at the ATP Finals in Turin. Nadal began the event 1,000 points behind his fellow Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz, who is missing the tournament through injury, but now will have to win the title to overtake him. His more immediate aim will be to raise his level in his second group match against Felix Auger Aliassime after an error strewn performance in a 7 6 3 6 1 loss to American Fritz. For more sports updates, please keep watching our YouTube channel Sportsia or visit our Twitter handle.